Hello, today we're going to be looking at accessing our emails using a Gmail app on an Android device. Now with all of our videos, it is time stamped, so you can jump to key sections within the video that is of interest to you. And to do that, you go down to the description, click on the timestamp, and it will take you straight there. But I would recommend that you watch the video through in its entirety for the first time. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to be checking our emails, sending and receiving using Gmail. In this case, we're going to be using Gmail Go. If you look at the screen here, you've got a red M with the word Go underneath it. So that's the uh, Gmail Go for Android. So that's the light version. Let's click on that. This may take a second or two to load. That's because this particular device is not a top end. It's, uh, it's quite low on resources. So here we are at the primary inbox. Now with a primary inbox, it's similar to the inbox. If you look next to primary, you've got those three lines. This is what was referred to as the hamburger menu. So let's just quickly click on that. Here we can see all of our other inboxes available to us there. We don't need to look at that at the moment. I just wanted you to be aware of that. Now at the bottom here, I've got a, an arrow or a chevron facing left. I'm going to click on that just to close that bit. Okay, now we're going to be looking at actually sending our first email. And in the bottom right here, we've got a red circle with something that looks like a pencil inside it. So let's click on that. Now we're opening up our email ready to send or rather ready to fill in. You'll notice at the top it says Compose. There's also the back arrow. And on to the right of the word Compose, we have the paper clip. That's if we want to add an attachment. We'll get to that later. Then we have something that looks like an arrow, or some people have told me it looks like a paper aeroplane. Then we have the three dots, otherwise known as the Epsilon. But this is mainly about sending your first email. So let's get to it. You'll notice that the from is filled in. Now the email address that I'm using here is a disposable one. I don't reply to emails to this. They go straight to the junk folder and get deleted. Two, we need to decide who we're going to send it to. So we might as well send it to ourselves because we're practicing and there's no point annoying other people. So let's send this to ourselves. If at this point you were going to send this to somebody else, and they were in your address book, then it were in a drop down list, their name would appear as you're typing their email address. Alternatively, if you haven't got them already in your email in your address book, once you've sent them an email, you will automatically be they will automatically be added to your address book. Same way if you reply to an email. So let's send this to ourselves. So I'm gonna send that and start typing. And you'll notice that there's a couple have come up here. So these two are already in my address book. Let's click on that one there. That's sending it to ourself. Then we have subject. Now the subject is not the email itself. It's actually um, the, like the title of the email. So let's call this one test. Then down the bottom left here, change that to numbers, test one. Now we're going to click where it says compose email. This is going to be the body of the email, what we actually want to share with somebody. This can be anything you want. So let's just call this testing, then space, then one, two, three. Now at the top there, we're going to go to where the paper aeroplane is and we're going to press that so we can send the email. Here it says, send this email, cancel or OK. So it's asking us if we really want to send it. In this case, yes, we do. OK, so now that's sent our email for us. And you'll see here in the primary, it says me, test one. But let's go to the hamburger menu. And you'll see here all inboxes, primary, and so forth. And you'll see in primary it says one, which means that there is one unread email in there. 
So we're going to click on the email itself by clicking on the word. This now has opened the email up. At the top of it, you'll see some options there. And we'll get round to those in a minute, or at least one of those. So here we have our email here, testing123. We can just simply ignore this and close back down you're using the back arrow up the top there if we don't need to reply if we do need to reply then down the bottom you'll notice that they have reply reply all and forward reply just replies to the person reply all replies to everybody else that they have sent the email to as well so we're just going to reply to the person and you'll notice that the to field is automatically filled in because we're replying to somebody in the to field the subject is already filled in. All we need to do is to compose the email. So let's say that we got it. And there we go, got your email. And you notice at the top of the keyboard, it gives you some options and it thinks what you're going to type. If it pops up, then just click that, it saves you a lot of typing. Okay, so I'm just gonna press send again, which is that paper airplane yes I want to send it and that's uh, now queued to be sent and any second now it should be sent which it has now and you notice the top one is the original email and the bottom one is our reply let's press the back arrow at the top on the top left now you notice it says me and it's got the number two next to it that means that there are two emails about that particular subject so let's go back to opening this up. Now let's assume that we had received an email from somebody and we want to forward it. What we would do then is we would choose to forward this instead. So let's click forward. You'll notice the to field is not been filled in, but the subject has. That's because the computer doesn't know who we're going to send it to. Well, we're still practicing, so let's just send it to ourselves, shall we? So let's just start typing our email address. There we go. Compose. Uh, let's do something simple, like thoughts you might like to see this. Um, luckily, at the top, instead of me having to type it out, it's given me the options, and I don't have to type anything. I just have to press the words at the, towards the top of the keyboard here. That's handy. Okay, now let's press uh, send, which is that paper airplane. Yes, I want to send it. Now it's being queued for a while it's been sent. Now it's already sent and you'll see there are three emails here, the original, then when we replied and now our forward, which is at the bottom. So let's press the back arrow towards the top left. You'll now say that it says me and then the number three. So that we now know that there are three emails about that subject. Let's create a new email again. Down to the bottom right, we've got that red circle with the pencil. We're gonna send this to ourselves again because we're just practicing. So let's just start typing our email address. There we go. Subject, how about we're gonna do an attachment this time? So let's just call this attachment space and then a number which then we're going to go one then we're going to click into the compose email and we're going to attach a file so we could call it anything let's call it a picture click on the paper clip at the top there where it says compose then it says do you attach a file yes i want to attach a file so we click on that And I'm going to send this picture here. Now, if you get to this point and you, there isn't a picture that you want to use or a file you want to use, remember that hamburger menu at the top left, the three lines. You can press on that and open one of these instead to find what you're looking for. Now, I'm going to press a little chevron down at the bottom left here that's facing to the left just to shut that little bit down. Here we go. So, click on the attach file.
I'm going to send this picture so I'm going to click on that picture there and you'll see that the at towards the bottom of the screen it says screenshot 2 that's telling us that there is an image there and it's a JPEG file and then it tells us the size 122 kilobytes so what we're going to do is press send which is the paper aeroplane towards the top there yes I want to send it now that has sent and any minute now we should see in the primary box another one there we go queued now it's been sent and I've received it you'll notice over to the right next to the time there's a paper clip that tells us that there's an attachment so let's open this email there's our attachment down the bottom there and you'll see that there's a an downward facing arrow with a line underneath it if we want to save that file then we would click that arrow and as I say this phone isn't exactly responsive it's quite slow because it is a budget one and at the top left of the very top left of the screen there was an arrow flashing showing that something was being downloaded and now the arrows come back and it's not flashing anymore in the top left there that shows us that we have downloaded the file so that is the end of this tutorial well nearly the end sorry nearly forgot let's go press the back arrow here I'll show you how to delete some some uh, emails now we can delete an email by simply you see where it's got the M on the left hand side and you got T and you got G and T and G again what you can do is just press on that name or the image whatever is available there and you can choose to delete that email and you can choose more than one if you want to and if you decide that you don't want to delete any of them just press them again and they won't be deleted so to the top there we see a paper a waste paper bin or a dustbin click on that and that will delete do you want to delete this conversation yes I do there we go that's now deleted one more thing say that the email was something that we really wanted to keep that is important on the right hand side you'll see that there's a star if you press the star that will change color that has now saved that email and told Gmail not to delete it from their server so what we're going to do is we're going to press the hamburger menu on the left here that's going to open up all of our folders if we click on the folder that says star you'll see it says all labels click on where it says starred you'll see that that is the only email in the star that's because it will only keep important emails that you said is important if at any time you decide that these don't want this to keep this important email anymore just press the star again and it's taken it out of the starred folder but it hasn't deleted it so let's go back to the primary there it is me three with test one so if we want to delete that all we do is just press on the name the the letter and then press on the waste paper bin at the top and then okay and that's the end of this tutorial i hope you found that helpful thank you very much